Saturday Night Live's first new episode in weeks began with another gut-busting sketch taking pot shots at the President Donald Trump, 71, and his stranger-than-fiction White House. In it Alec Baldwin, 60, recreated Trump's press conference with the leaders from the Baltic countries but in no time, it went right off the rails. First up, congratulations to Vladimir Putin. He won a great, great very transparent Russian election. Great job, Putin. Even though no one's been tougher on Russia than I am, including Hitler. Wow. When asked by the press why he's sending the National Guard to the border, he answered, look we have to protect our border. Mexico is sending caravans full of immigrants toward us. And I've seen these caravans. Truck after truck barreling across the desert. The trucks are covered in metal and spikes. There's a guy in front just wailing away on an electric guitar. When told that he's describing the film Mad Max, Fury Road, he commented, that's right. They are some Mad Maxicans. Later, he simply gives up and admits this those assembled, here's the thing that nobody is willing to say but I'm going to say it, I don't care about America. Yikes. As diehard fans know, few topics have been more common on the sketch comedy show in recent days than attacks on Trump and his family's eyebrow-raising behavior. Take for instance John Goodman's incredible visit to SNL on March 17 where he took on Secretary of State Rex Tillerson immediately after he was fired. The sketch was an episode of Anderson Cooper 360 and Tillerson had showed up to discuss his abrupt departure from the administration. He was visibly upset during the sketch, even shaking while taking a sip of water. When asked if he's okay, he answered, it's just crazy how one day you're the CEO of Exxon, a $50 billion company, and the next day you get fired by a man who used to sell steaks in the mail. Then he broke the glass in his hand. Wow, seriously? You're going to come at me like that? Do I come to the shoe that you live in and slap the potato out of your mouth? Via SNL, pic.twitter.com slash 7mwl1az01z. Kyle Griffin, at Kyle Griffin 1, April 8, 2018 And let's not forget the reliably hilarious latest visit from Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump on March 11th. Okay, it wasn't really them but Mikey Day and Alex Moffat's impressions are always incredible. This time the pair came on Weekend Update to address the allegations of an affair between their father and porn star Stormy Daniels, while defending Donald Sr. with co-host Colin Jost, Don Jr., said, Our father has a name for you liberals in the media. And then Eric blurted out, Goddamn Jews. Later, the eldest son addressed the cheating allegations head-on. That's what's so ridiculous about the claims of this adult film star, she and my father never had a relationship. Then Eric added, they just wrestled in bed. Love it. 